Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your September 1st through the end of the month. This is a general reading. Whatever comes up, comes up. I pre-shuffled these as I do before every reading. I do three bridges and I can tell you what, your cards did not want to shuffle at all. It was very difficult. I mean, in the one I did before this, they just came right out like nothing. So, or something is going on where things just don't want to come together for you. That's for sure. And there you are. First card. That's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Now that's a man or a woman. First card. <laughs> I'm going to keep shuffling. This is for the month of September. Now the shuffling, nice, but um, for the bridge, uh-uh, no way. Having a very hard time with it. Observation, swiftness, conflict, tension, and awareness. All right, that's your first five cards. This is the month of September 2017. Here you are feeling confident, feeling vibrant, um, just being yourself. I mean, the beginning of September, it looks like you're at ease with who you are and just being yourself. And it's probably uh, in a good way. You're probably feeling very confident about who you are right now. Perhaps this is um, you're watching somebody or you're watching some situation to see what's going to happen next. You know, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like there's some uh, observation going on. Here we have a, something that's coming very quickly, you know, or you see it coming You because I can see, I mean, you're right on top of it, whatever it is. It's, it looks like something is happening very quickly and um, it could cause some tension. It could cause some tension this week, but you are completely aware of it. So that's amazing because you, you've been paying attention. You, you can see something coming. You can't pretend something's not coming here. This is a stalemate. This is pretending. This is ignoring a situation. This is um, this is the King of Pentacles. This is a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. Now they could be observing you, or you could be observing them. Okay, maybe they're the ones that are headed in your direction. I'm not sure. Or you're headed in theirs, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This is somebody who's very practical, responsible, loyal, honest, hardworking, stubborn um and let's get some more cards looks like it's time to let go of something You've been stuck in some place, you know, where you've felt like you had limitations, okay? So here we are, we're on to the second, third week of September, and I think that whatever you were, was limiting you from moving forward, you might be um, going past that point because I see that it's, it's time to let go. Okay, you can't ignore the situation any longer. Right now, you're building, at the beginning of September, you're building up your confidence, you're building up your courage because you know something, um, you're aware of something, and you've been holding on to it, and you've been waiting for the perfect time, okay? You've been planning, because this was what he does, he plans, um, and maybe you're planning to do something very, very quickly that is going to cause some conflict. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I see insecurity as well, but I see major change ahead. You're definitely aware of this. It's something you've been planning on for a while. I think you're waiting for a change. You've been uh, working on it. I see a, a life, you know, a transformation of some sort. Maybe it's a spiritual transformation. Could be a large chapter, a next uh, large chapter. Yeah, a long chapter in your life. Okay, something good is in front of you. Could involve a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that um, 
they could have been resisting in the past or you could have been resisting them. Maybe they weren't giving you the time or you weren't giving them the time that was needed. There could be some overindulgence somewhere. Maybe there's a little bit too much um, drinking or, or something. You know, there's anything. You know, there's some overindulgence here that caused some tension um, either within your life or within a relationship. And it has caused some insecurity, maybe even a loss of money. All right. But you have all the resources to get through it. Your awareness is high at this time. I see that you're about to start a new large chapter, your long chapter. That's what I'm trying to say in your life. And it looks really, really good. So it looks like September, let's get the last one, <laughs> is a really good month for you. I see that there's no pretending. You're being really realistic. Um, any um, delays are over because you're you're gonna get past a point that you've been waiting to get past. Um, there could be some interest, you know, some observation of another person. Somebody could be observing you, or you are observing them. And I think it's a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. Somebody who is very loyal. Um, well put together they're a planner they plan for the future they're stable and secure and mature okay um but i see there's a fast moving energy with that knight of swords um something happening maybe even too fast and i'm not exactly sure what that is but we do have uh Tension and we have insecurity. So let's get the next deck. This is the month of September. But with the death card, a new long term chapter is ahead of you. All right. And it's going to be great with that wheel right there. The next phase of your life is right around the corner and it looks really good. Now, this is September 1st through the end of the month. So this must be significant in this life change. Um, I see there's some healing right there with that temperance card. Oh, I was talking about this and this one came out. This is heartache. Okay. That's heartache. Perhaps this is somebody that you have been aching for. Okay. Maybe they've been aching for you. Maybe it's time to let go. I don't know. Let's see. This right here is heartache right next to this Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And this is ignoring the heartache, even knowing that it's there. Okay, and just hanging on to the heartache. Hanging on. Even though you have this pain in your heart, hanging on. Okay, because you're so strong. All right, and you have plans for the future. This is about plans for the future, slow and steady. Things you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for something and it's taken its time and it's probably, you know, you've been waiting for a union with somebody. You've been waiting for a union, and but there's been resistance here. Perhaps somebody hasn't given it enough time. Maybe they've chosen an escape route and they've, and they've you know, they've uh, have some addictions or something. I don't know. But I see there's some overindulgence. Gosh, I gotta get the rest of the cards. I do this a lot. Capricorn. So you may be thinking about a Capricorn or the Capricorn might be the person in the past or part of your past could be somebody with Capricorn in their chart could be really any sign because I really don't like to to do that but anyway this person is keeping you stuck and they are the ones that are stuck in your heart okay somebody that you are man magnetically connected to somebody that you um there may be some you know some kind of attraction that isn't healthy an unhealthy attraction okay but with you and this person but it could i mean even though it's unhealthy doesn't you know whatever 
<laughs> I'm not very healthy, so whatever. That's how I feel about that. So, um, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of addiction. There's obsession. There's manipulation, okay, within the relationship. But there's a lot of passion. So there's equal good and bad. All right. So this this is this is a this is a general reading. This isn't a this isn't a private reading. So I don't know who this is going to resonate with, um, but I feel pretty strongly about it. This there is it feels like there's a new like there's a renewal of love or there's a new chance for love. Okay, there is there's a lot of new energy here coming in. So I think maybe this could you could be the hurt could be getting unstuck, getting unstuck from this person that you are bound to that it that has broken your heart in some way. Okay. Here we have the Daughter of Swords, the Daughter of Cups, the Daughter of Pentacles. These are all pages. Messages. Okay, you're going to get the truth about something. You're going to get clarity about something. You're going to get... Um, I, there's definitely somebody is watching somebody. Either you're observing somebody or somebody's observing you. There is no doubt about it. There could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. There could be... Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. There could be water sign. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We have Capricorn again. We have Gemini. We have Scorpio. We have all the fire Any sign. We have the fire signs too. So we have, we have them all. So it could be anybody. But there's a lot of messages coming in. It looks like there's a lot of love coming to your way. Emotional support. There's stability and security and respect. I mean, it's like people in, I can feel, I feel like you're feeling shy, but not really. All right. You're feeling humble. That's the word for it. Humble. Um, because you're getting all this, all this information at once. So, so I think it's in September, you're getting clarity you're feeling good about yourself. You're feeling humbled. You're feeling love. You're be feeling getting emotional support. But you're still stuck somewhere. You're still stuck. You're not quite ready. Even though you absolutely need to let go. And you need to fly. And you know you need to move on and spread your wings. And see what else the world has for you. You're still comfortable right there. You could be hiding in something. Um, hmm. We're going to get one of these uh, Vintage Wisdom Oracle cards for you. You can free yourself at any time. Okay? You can free yourself at any time and take and take the next step into your new journey. Okay, you can free yourself from this and you can free yourself from this and you can free yourself from this, which is connected to heartache. So you're you're stuck and you can free yourself whenever you are ready. Because you don't need this heart pain anymore. Shadow self. I'm going to zoom these in in a minute. I'm going to get one of these whispers of love too. And then I'm going to read them to you. Honesty is essential. Alright. I'm going to zoom it in. And then I'm going to read it. Shadow self.
Night has fallen and a young girl pauses beneath a stone portal, perhaps seeking guidance from the raven above. The raven stands on high as the all-seeing gatekeeper, hovering between the realm of conscious and unconscious mind. A harbinger of powerful secrets and revealer of omens and signs, this potent totem was said to fly out of the dark womb of the cosmos, bringing the gift of light from the sun's rays. And so it is in this world of duality, in the light we carry within reflects the higher power. The shadow self is a reflection of the dark karmas, which keep us anchored in our unwillingness to face primitive emotions and impulses. impulses. Patterns often manifest in the form of unresolved conflicts and the negative judgments imposed on others and ourselves. Carl Jung characterized the shadow self as that which we think we are not. We deem our shadow self a weakness and strive to keep it hidden from the outside world. This act of repression, however, only succeeds in wasting precious energy and empowering negativity. Over a lifetime, these patterns can become rigid, blinding us to the fact that we carry and project them to our world. We only know our lives or relationships are not working, and we separate divided and imprisoned by our reactions instead of empowered by our, by our wise actions the appearance of this card represent this hold on the appearance of this card presents you with a powerful opportunity to see how your shadow self could be preventing you from finding peace it could well be the missing link by exposing your fears to the light you will dissolve the power they once had and transmute them into powerful allies. That's a good one. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully in a loving and in a loving manner. Love seeks to do what is best for another person. Speak honestly. Tell the truth about your emotions. Use this as an opportunity to clear the air and turn this into a positive outcome. Perfect. All right, Aries, that's for the month of September. I am going to do a September 1st through September 15th love reading. Um, and then the 15th through the 30th as well. So this was just a general reading. Um, thank you for all the support.